Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this MS700 Teams Administrator Associate Examination course. In this lesson, we're going to learn about security and compliance alert for Microsoft Teams. Alert policies help administrators identify events in their tenants that could indicate a security breach, an abuse of administrative privileges or other activities that require monitoring. Alert policies send email notification and track recognized events on an alert dashboard in Security and Compliance Center to keep track of events in a tenant. So how does the alert policy work? This following diagram shows the basic workflow of how a alert policy works. Administrators create new or modify existing policies in Security and Compliance Center. The user or administrator performs actions which match the conditions that trigger the alert policy. An alert is generated and the according alert action is triggered such as sending an email to a global administrator, etc. Finally, administrators review alerts in alerts dashboard and decide to acknowledge or dismiss the alert. Please note that there are currently up to 22 default alert policies available. An alert policy consists of a set of rules and conditions that define the user or admin activity that generates an alert a list of users who are in scope of triggering the alert if they perform the activity, a threshold that defines how many times the activity may occur before an alert is triggered. All of these alerts are categorized into one of these six categories, which helps with tracking and managing the alerts generated by a policy. You can assign one of the following categories to a policy. That's a quick high level overview on create security and compliance alerts. The next video, we're going to talk about a Teams lab. We're going to implement governance and lifecycle management for Microsoft Teams.